Hey guys, Rick Shaw here. It's uh, Thursday, Halloween day. We went shopping today. Faye's friend Amy uh, picked us up and we did some shopping. We didn't go to Walmart uh, this month. Last month we went to Walmart and I, I was kind of hungry for some chicken. So we got chicken quarters. And we were watching them because you see on YouTube, you know, with the little wormies and all that kind of stuff in them. So we're checking all this stuff out. Well, <laughs> it just didn't taste right. All of us said the same thing. The chicken just, I don't know what it was about that chicken, but but uh, we all ate it. But you could see it wasn't really completely eaten down to the bone like we usually do. So we went to uh, Mark's this time. And uh, I know my brother, he's got some kind of place he goes. He got us a chicken one time that was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to have to call him and find out where he went. But uh, we got the chicken from there. It comes in a, comes in a big bag. And uh, what does it look good? The legs are huge. And we got our and we got our turkey. And I don't care, once a year, you know, they show that commercial where they inject the turkeys with the stuff and all that. That's the one I want, guys. I hunted a wild turkey one year, and I got one. I got a 24-pounder, came out of the tree, came out the other, cut the other side of a big log, and I nailed him. And it was miserable. And I've never had a good wild turkey. I don't, I don't think much of them. But uh, we got a butter ball. And I got the stuff for the pumpkin pie. Uh, we got more stuff to get yams. We, you know, we still got to get yams and marshmallows and all that stuff because I'm going to make a Thanksgiving dinner. <coughs> it's in the freezer now. Uh, I had some really good news, super good news today. The doc, actually, the doctor called. You know, he's he'd never called me before, and he called. And I'm like, oh, hey, doc, how you doing, buddy? And I like him. I do. He's uh, he's super duper. Right now, this is from the Coumadin guys, right there. I think it's a little bit too high right now. But uh, he called and he was talking about the markers because they found markers for this cancer in the pelvis. And he said, the stuff that they gave me, it's down to zero. Wiped it out. This, this stuff here, this last uh, chemo they gave me, even though it made me kind of uh, crappy feeling, he said, it wiped it out. He goes, he can't believe it. He's never seen it do it so fast. So he goes, that's super, super duper good news. So uh, they're going to bring me in next Monday, check me all out again. And uh, he said, maybe one more course. And I said, well, look, if it's if it's wiping it out, you know, do, do we really need it? You know, so he said, well, we'll talk about that Monday. So I'll go see him Monday, and then I got a primary care doctor over there, and we're also going to start some uh, physical therapy because as I as I'm, am right now, uh, <clears throat> I can't even put my own socks on. I can't clip my toenails. I can't get bent over to to do all that. It's all this weather right now. We're having a really gloomy day. I mean, it's gloomy, guys. It's it's windy as heck. The leaves are coming down for sure. So I'll be going up to pick Dorothy up off the bus pretty soon. The kids want to uh, they want to go around the neighborhood tonight, and I said, "Yeah, that's okay." But like I say, we did our grocery shopping. We spent we spent a ton of money, but we got some really good stuff. We don't we don't buy garbage. Uh, it does cost us more because we always get the organic stuff. And like we were in the store and we saw apples. I like the Gala apples, and then they got these. Uh, these new apples that they're selling, it's a, it's a local brand, all organic. And Faye was saying, well, which one should I get? And I said, well, you know something? The kids, they go through apples like nothing. Let's get them both. You know, let's, just, let's just get them both. So we did that. We don't really hardly buy <coughs> junk food. No, no garbage. It's all, it's all good food. We got some nice purple cabbage. The cabbages were looking really good at the store. And, uh, you know, we're just we're just looking forward to having some pretty good dinners coming up. Dorothy and I got our trip coming. I hope the weather the weather will hold out for us. We're not going to stay overnight or anything. We're gonna we're gonna shoot out, stay for 
maybe four or five hours and then come on back. It was the, my grandson and my granddaughter's birthday. So Dorothy got her one of those really nice knit purses that she made and I got him a watch. I got him a nice Casio watch. I noticed in all the pictures that I've seen of him, he doesn't have a watch. So I want to get him one. I know that everybody's got a phone and that's where their clock is, but you know, watches watches are just cool. I've got I've got this one. I've had this one. I bought this when I was at the mall in um, in the Philippines. It wasn't that much money. I think it, I think it was about a hundred about a hundred bucks. It's been a great watch. It keeps perfect time. Uh, it did get the buttons gummed up from from soap from me washing my hands with it on. I wish they'd put the buttons on the other side. Somebody said, wear it on your right hand. I never wore a watch on my right hand, never in my entire life. So <clears throat> I just took a Q-tip. I took it to the guy, and he didn't do it. He fixed the band for me because I got skinny guys. I can't even wear, look, I can't even wear my wedding ring. You know, I just, I just shriveled up to nothing. And if I put my hand straight down, luckily, every time it's fallen off, it's fallen off in my pocket or in my jacket pocket. Or Mumu finds finds it on the bedroom floor. It just falls off. He finds it in the bed. <coughs> I can't take a shower with it on. I just I just skinnied up. I can't seem to gain any weight. So but we did our shopping and while we were waiting for our friend to come back and pick her up, we got a, a subway sandwich. And I got uh they have a new one out. It's um what the heck do they call that one? It's not a Philly cheesesteak, but it was right underneath the Philly cheesesteak. It's kind of like a Philly cheesesteak. And I had the girl cover it with onions, pepperoncinis, and um, jalapeno peppers. And I asked her, I said, hey, can you make sure I get a jalapeno pepper in every bite? She said, sure. Real, real sweet girl at the place. And uh, so every all of us got a Subway sandwich. And boy, I'll tell you what, that son of a gun was good. And then I got some coffee pods. I, you know, I forgot last month to get the coffee pods. We've got the uh, Keurig machine. And this time I got the Italian roast. I like my coffee strong. So I thought, okay, I'm going to get this Italian roast one and try it. Because it, it's been looking at me. Every time I walk by it in the store, it looks at me and says, buy me. Buy me. Boy, am I glad I bought it, guys. That is. <laughs> I like the Dunkin' Donut one. As long as you got good water, you know, you can't, you know, I know a lot of people use tap water on their coffee and I, I can tell immediately, but, uh, this, this Italian roast coffee, boy, it was, it was a really good cup of coffee. I was liking it when we got home, but, uh, we got home and we had to carry all this stuff up the stairs. Faye and I, she's, she's in there sleeping. I just woke up. Both of us are just hammered from that coming up the stairs. My back is, both of us, our back is shot from this weather. And I, I'm hoping that she has a change of heart. And when all this cancer baloney is done, that we can head down south to a warmer climate when this lease is done here. You know, just sell everything here and go find a place. You know, find a, pl find a place to rent. I can get the VA loan. Uh, I already talk to a guy. I set it up here on the phone here. And, uh, you know, you put your number in there and he called and he says, where would you be looking? And I told him, I want to look down in around, uh, Alabama. And he says, how much were you looking to spend? And I said, look, I don't want, I want to make sure my payments around 600 and I don't want to go on no 30 year loan. I'd like to go on a, like a 15. He still said I could go higher than that, higher than, you know, 60, 70,000. Because most of them I looked at on Zillow that are 60 and 70,000, there's going to be some work to do. But here's the thing. For me, that's okay. Because that means I can put a hammer in the boys' hands. And I can teach them how to do this stuff. I can't really do it myself anymore, guys. You know, I'm, I'm, right, as of lately, I'm pretty much shot. But I could teach the boys how to do it, just like just like my older kids. My my daughter Victoria, she knows how to change the oil on her car and everything. She was always helping me on my truck, always. Anytime I went outside, Dorothy does the same thing. 
whenever I go out to do anything on the bike or any, any do anything like that, she's always the one who follows. And that's how it was with uh, Victoria also. And uh, they need to know how to do that stuff. And that way, when they get older, they don't have to rely on paying somebody else. I, there's a young fellow that comes here, young black fellow. And from what I'm understanding from everybody, he's a heck of a good mechanic. And you, you can see, you know, I'm up here on this window, and anytime anybody has car trouble, he pretty much is the guy that comes around. He's got a heck of a nice little business. Holy mackerel, he had the, the girl out here, her battery went. And uh, he came out, and he, and he did a good job. He cleaned it. It needed cleaned. It was all corroded. He cleaned everything up. And I'm watching him right out the window. They didn't even know I was there. I'm watching him out the window. And he cleaned it up, and he, and he had that little one of them little tiny... Zappers, they sell now. I want one. Guys, I want one. And uh, he put that on there and it fired up. And the car the car was running rough. And he went right to a relay. Uh, he replaced the relay. But man, when he was done, I was watching her hand over cash. And it was a boatload. It was a boatload of money. And I'm like, wow. You know, so I, want, I don't want my kids having to pay all that. I want them to learn how to do that stuff themselves. So... That's the way she goes, but uh, we're looking we're looking forward to our trip. I hope it's not too windy, and uh, we're not going to push it. We're going to go nice and easy. Dorothy's really looking forward to seeing her little nieces and nephews, even though her nephew is sixteen years old and she's eleven. <laughs> <coughs> but uh, my my daughter's kids, my granddaughter. Uh, they are, oh my goodness, I can't believe how good looking they are. They're beautiful kids. The the uh, middle girl, when you just look at her, uh, I was never one that, you know, nothing fancy. She's got kind of a little bit of a plain look to her, but it's just pretty. And she's, uh, well, she's, she's my daughter's daughter. She's got the same attitude as my daughter, just mellow, mild, sweet. You know, my daughter Victoria was just always, from the time she was a little tiny baby, was just a cuddly little sweetheart. And she's 35 years old already. I mean, look at this, guys, how fast, how fast it went. You know what I mean? It's just like, poof, here we go. Time flies. So, and they're growing. They're growing into the little tiny one. <laughs> she's a pistol. She is a little pistol, so I'm looking forward to seeing her and giving them all a big, big, fat, juicy hug, you know, so. But I'm going to go ahead and let you go, and uh, that was just some really good news from the doctor, and uh, I was due for some. I'm telling you guys, I was due for some good news, because it's, it's been <laughs> been kind of gloomy. Now I, got, now I got burps and everything else from, but I'm off for a whole week on this medicine. They give it to you for three weeks, and then you go a whole week off. <clears throat> they got to order more. So they're going to order it, and they're going to keep it at the hospital. And hopefully I won't have to take any more. Because if, if it worked, and I'm down to zero now, you know, they want to do stem cell next. Let's get the stem cell done and be done with it. And let me, let me finish up, and then they, I can come in every so many months and have them take a look at it. But... Uh, the only thing I, I have right now is the back. My back is hurt so bad. Yeah, but that's been my whole life this way. So this is nothing new. So you all take care now. This is Rick Shaw out.